Hey! <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. I'm back at you with a video. Been gone for a minute and uh, wanted to just take a time to do a product review. Now you all are going to kill me. Oh my gosh. Alright, so normally you know if you're subscribers, you know that most of the stuff I use in my hair is um, either natural or organic. Um, I will use some water soluble silicone you know as long as they're water soluble if, if they're in something I'm using I'm okay with it or even you know parabens as long as I can rinse them out I'm good um, and you know my hair can breathe if they're water soluble your hair will be able to breathe rarely do I use anything that falls outside of that realm um, and that's just what works for me I'm able to get good results with my hair using that process my daughter we use a completely different process for her we use a combination of um, natural but then we also use some products that have non water soluble soluble silicones in it so you know look at your hair listen to your hair do what works for you so I'm doing this product review today for a shampoo y'all you know I don't use shampoo I use a mud wash uh, by Terra Essentials the lavender scent which I love um, but last night I did the dum dum and I needed some help for real and um, I needed something that was going to allow me to lift um, oil and mud from my hair. What happened was I did a, I neglected my hair all week, so I did an oil treatment last night. And while I was rinsing it out, I thought, oh, let me use my Terra Essential Mud Wash. <laughs> Why did I do that? You know, when you do a pre-poo or with oils, or if you do a hot oil treatment, or you do a deep conditioning treatment that's primarily oil, the oils will leave trace deposits, you know, on your hair because it's still moisturizing your hair, you know, um, and conditioning your hair after uh, you've rinsed it out, which is what you want to happen. Um, and so not thinking about that or even recognizing that, I went ahead and I used my mud wash. Well, when I put the mud wash on and I went to rinse it out, some of it wouldn't rinse out because it was caught in the oils <laughs> that, was, that were deposited on my hair from the deep conditioning treatment. So um, I tried to do an ACV treatment to lift um, the oils off and to clarify my hair. Normally that will work. Um, just, you know, my normal regimen, doing an ACV treatment every so often, you know, it will lift any shea butter I have on my hair off, that kind of deal. But um, because of the oil and the mud and all that, the ACV treatment was able to lift some of that from my hair, but I was not able to get all of it off, and I really needed all of it off um, because when I went to try to even style it, I had they call them hair boogers. <laughs> I saw somebody say that. But you know, it's like residue. You actually, I, I could see it on this part really, really good. But you know, I could see the uh, residue, like little white kind of things. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to wash my hair again, and I need something that's going to lift everything off. So I remembered I had this in my, my, um, Stockpile, that's what I call it, for my, my hair care stuff. And I had purchased this from my daughter. So this is Suave Naturals Daily Clarifying Shampoo. This is the family size um, shampoo. So uh, clarifying shampoo is really good if you're a person that uses products that may build up on your hair. You know, anything that is non-water soluble, um, you know, that has silicones in it, that has uh, parabens in it, that has um, sulfates in it, um, you know, anything, you know, waxes, whatever. If it's going to build up on your hair, you're going to want to clarify your hair. If it's non-water soluble, you know, you can use ACV treatments, but, you know, if you've really got some build up there, you're going to want to use a clarifying shampoo. So you should always kind of have one of these clarifying shampoos in your, um, you know, your hair care um, drawer or pa pantry, whatever, you know, that you have at home just to lift the stuff off. So, um, I reached for that last night because the ACV treatment wasn't doing it. And so my review of this product was this. Um, I was uh, scared to use it because I thought it would leave my hair stripped. 
Um, but I can say that it did not. I used probably um, an amount the si equivalent of this top, which is basically the size of maybe a silver dollar. So I poured that amount in my hair uh, or on my hands and then I applied it to my hair which was soaking wet and I didn't do like a lot of this I just basically rubbed it through uh, forward I was leaning forward so I rubbed it forward and I focused on those uh, areas where I really felt like you know the ACV treatment didn't lift everything so I really you know made sure I got those areas and I have to say immediately like I hadn't even rinsed it out yet immediately after putting it on my hair felt completely different. I didn't feel the residue. Um, I felt after washing my hair the prior, you know, two times last night. Um, it lifted that stuff off, cut through it immediately. Um, and I didn't have to do a lot and I didn't have to use a lot for it to work that way. Um, I went ahead and I rinsed it out <clears throat> and I touched my hair you know to make sure it wasn't tangly that was the other thing when I rubbed the product um, through my hair the shampoo through my hair I was also feeling the reason I didn't do this was because I didn't want my hair to get tangled um, which I was afraid would happen you know using a, a clarifying shampoo because sometimes once you strip all the oils off of your hair you don't have any slip anymore so it can cause you to get tangled um, I put it through I was feeling no tangles like as I was doing this I didn't feel any tangles whatsoever um, in my hair uh, I rinsed it out ran my fingers through my hair you know again no no tangles um, so I again I rinsed it out and then I followed it up with a conditioner uh, by curls that I used and then I uh, continued with my whole rush and go regimen so this is basically the these are the results of the wash and go my hair is you know I have looser looser curls I guess for the most part I'm just gonna come to the realization that that's what I'm working with so um, so as you can see my hair is doing like what it would normally do um, it feels really soft does not feel dry um, moves really well feels really light that was another thing I mean it's a really good clarifying shampoo because even when I looked at my hair strands like in the mirror while it was still wet I was like wow you know you can see how much cleaner my hair is <coughs> so I would just say this is a really really great product didn't again because number one it did not strip my hair didn't cause me to get tangles didn't have to use a lot of the product and um, it lifted the stuff off of my hair like immediately um, the other wonderful thing about it is you can get this anywhere like you can get this I've seen this in my local beauty supply store um, I've also seen it at Walgreens they have it at Walmart I purchased this one from CVS the other really wonderful thing about this product is its price point I purchased this one for 79 cents it was because um, I had a coupon it was on sale <laughs> No, but normally it's only 99 cents for a family size and this is 22.5 fluid ounces so this is not something that I will be using on my hair you know weekly or you know daily I know it's a daily moisturizer or daily clarifying shampoo but I won't be using it you know very often I'll probably though you know when I feel like you know I've used um, lots of shea butter kind of products where you know or, or things that my ACV treatment may have um, difficulty lifting I would definitely use that um, in the future so probably probably once every couple of months or, or something like that like I said everything is normally water soluble with me but it's just a great way to kind of lift everything off of your hair and ensure that it's a hundred percent hundred percent clean without stripping your hair um, another reason, you know, there are a lot of clarifying shampoos you can purchase. Um, one of the reasons I went with the Suave Naturals was not only because um, it was suggested to me, um, you know, several months ago to, to try it, but um, 
by one of my natural hair friends uh, who's on one of the boards I belong to but um, also because it says it's a daily clarifying shampoo that leads me to believe that it's a little more uh, gentle than um, a regular clarifying shampoo would be because it's something you can use daily so usually there's a little less of something in you know uh, daily shampoo um, type products so um, so yeah this is a huge thumbs up you know again I'm just going to show it to you one more time ah! okay suave natural daily clarifying shampoo and then I'm going to do like a little um, you can see what the ingredients are here people tend to ask me about uh, ingredients I don't know if you can see it but it does have the sodium laurel, laurel on it and it does have sulfate so it has you know things that I don't normally use on my hair but you know if it's something that you're not going to use very often and you know um, something that will help you to lift products off of your hair I say you know just for me it's okay to use this every blue moon so that's my review I hope the information was helpful you all I hope I never do the dummy like that again it took me three hours to finally get my hair done um, I don't know if I did a close-up of my hair but this is it so I really like it. I really like it. Um, all right. Later, ladies. Take care. Bye.